Well, hello there. It's Beards and Bangers. And today I bring you an update on one of my cars that I've tried to sell two, maybe three times, but refused to leave me. So today we're going to be having a look at Bram, the Rover 200 BRM. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So we'll refresh our memory on Bram. Here he is, he's looking a bit naked. I'll explain why he's looking naked in a moment. We'll grab the camera and have a, a closer look round. But uh, so I brought Bram in October 2022, I think it was, uh, from Scotland. A guy called Phil up in Scotland was selling him and uh, drove him around for a bit, got the wheels refurbed, just did a few very light bits, and then we've done a few bits since then, uh, but he needs some more work. So he's out of MOT, been out of MOT since, uh, I think, October, so about the anniversary of me buying him. Um, done a few improvements since then. I've not been rushing it because it's winter. The car is, uh, you know, parked up quite safely. But, yeah, Bram is a car that, I tried to sell three times, as I said at the beginning of the video, but he does not want to leave me. Um, I it either got no interest or not the right money. Um, so I've decided I'm going to keep Bram. I'm looking for a, an indoor storage place for him for when he's when he's fully restored. Um, Austin from AJF Motor Engineers has very kindly been salvaging bits and bobs for me. We've actually got an MGZR that was completely wrecked, and we're going to use some of the body panels off that. I'll show you where in just a, just a moment. We'll have a more in-depth look at what's wrong with the bodywork. And then uh, there's some other bits and bobs that need doing. So the plan with Bram now is firstly to keep him. So some of you will be very pleased about that. But secondly, is to make sure that he's absolutely pristine, wants for nothing, but then he's kept cosseted and loved and only brought out for show season. So yeah, Bram, he's never gonna be a daily driver. He is gonna be uh, a show car, let's, let's, be, let's put it very bluntly, and one of my collections. So uh, you'll wonder why the engine's running. That's because his battery was completely flat, really, really flat. So, and he's a little bit damp inside. So I'm just, just giving him a first uh, run in a little while. Obviously, there's no wings on it, so I'm not taking it on the public road. Not MOT, so there's no issue with that. I want a private estate. Um, but yeah, so Bram's just having a little run, just to just to warm up a little bit inside, and also just to give the battery a bit of a charge. So, without further ado, I'm going to grab the camera, and we'll walk round and show you what needs to be done. And uh, the one thing that's happened so far since he came off the road back in the autumn. So here he is. Um, yeah, so the wings are off. The reason for that is the sills are going to get welded up. There's a hole in the sill. I'll try and angle the camera so you can see it just under there. Um, but also, when we took the wings off, this panel here, so this, this section here is a bit crusty, a bit rotten. Um, so this, that section is going to get cut off uh, an MGZR and welded in there. And then we'll weld up that sill. You can get the sill panels for these really easily, but you can't get these inner wing inner wing section so easily so that's that's probably the first thing that's going to happen uh, at some point in the not too distant future the wings are in the back of the car by the way you'll also notice that he's very very moist inside he's got a lovely if i show you uh, a lovely green bloom excuse the noise of the uh, the heater blowing away there but we need to get some heat in him so yeah a bit a little bit moldy inside it's been shut up over winter which is a mistake on my part so why is he getting wet inside well there's we reckon it's two things or potentially three uh one the sunroof panel needs replacing luckily ajf have got a brand new one in stock so that'll be going um in there uh then secondly if we come around to the boots this gives us our next clue as to what's going on with bram uh, and you'll notice an exhaust in the middle there we'll, we'll talk about the exhaust in a sec um so you can see he's pretty moist back here but we've got this kind of crust and rot in the boot panel so off this ZR which is in good order bodywork wise um, we're gonna cut this sort of four panels that crimp into one and um, to make up the, the boot mounting panel um, <clears throat> so we're gonna cut that cut this bit out weld this this ZR panels back in so that's fixed and it can go to the body shop for spraying because I did get a quote for them to fabricate these panels from new steel and it goes it, it would end up costing more than the car's worth to actually um, fabricate it so for last year it was a case of putting up with it uh, and I think I took Bram to two or three 
maybe four shows. So he was at Cheersley, he was at uh, he'd been to Gaydon, he was at the photo shoot for MG 100 Rover 120. So he's been he's he's been out a few times last year, uh, but yeah, I, I don't really want to take him out too much now. Um, Hopefully we can get the front end done for the Chilton Rally in May. Uh, we're more on that in another video, another day. Um, and then, yeah, we can get this, this, this other panel done sort of later in the year. So for the MOT, obviously we need to weld the sill up and put the wings back on. Um, but everything else, and the uh, airbag light needs to get out as well. I always have this problem with airbag lights. Um, you'll notice, as I say, you've got, the, you've got the, an exhaust system there. You've got... Uh, front pipe with the cat there, that's an aftermarket um, cat, and we've got a manifold there. So what's what's going on here, I hear you ask. Um, so Bram has now got a uh, Yanspeed uh, exhaust, stainless steel exhaust system, so centre pipe and back box, and then his front pipe and manifold is from uh, an MG ZR 160, so slightly freer flowing. Now I've not driven the car properly um, since that's been done i can't do that until the wings are back until it's put back together because we don't want arch liners getting ripped off if they get caught on the wheels and there's side uh, repeaters there that could all get damaged if we if we get caught on the wheels so so bram has got um a zr160 exhaust complete so front to back uh, have i shut the bonnet i have so again apologies for the engine running but um i want to just i don't, don't want to switch him off basically, because I don't know, I'm not sure if this battery has survived the winter. Um, but yeah, there you can see the ZR160 manifold, so quite different from the BRM one. Now you can't just slap a, uh, a ZR160 exhaust, including the front, the cat pipe, onto a BRM, uh, because the, the manifold, so I don't know how well you can see down there, but your, your flange where the the flange where the uh, front pipe meets the manifold on a ZR160 is six bolt, uh, but on a Rover 200 BRM is four bolt. So you've got to change the whole thing. What that should give me, so you've got a better flowing exhaust manifold. And with the uh, with these MEMS uh, ECUs, you can't really remap them. Um, I think K Max might be able to do something, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be remapping this car. I know I said I was going to or going to look into it in the past, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to keep him as stock. Because um, I want Bram to be pretty much factory, other than a couple of very small bits. Um, but yeah, hopefully, once we do get him back on the open road, that'll make a massive difference to the to the breathing, and uh, maybe just get a couple more horsepower out of it. Uh, only time will tell. So that's that's the under the engine, um, and that's really it with Bram. So it's a story of it's a story of welding. Obviously, the inside's going to need a a really good clean up. Um, the headlining does need doing. Um, as you can see there, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty saggy, but there's no point doing that until the welding's done at the back here, because you've got to strip the car out to protect it, protect the interior when you weld it. Um, so yeah, you haven't seen Bram for a while on the channel. Here he is, here he is, a little bit naked. Probably should have a sensor's warning on here that we've got a, a half-naked BRM um, on the channel. But uh, yeah, he, he's, he's, I've just driven him not above 30 miles an hour just round the estate here this morning and he's, he's still going all right um i don't just don't trust the battery so i have got the jump pack with me but i'd rather just leave him running get some hot air in there and uh hopefully hopefully he'll be he'll be back to find fettle by the end of this year so thank you for watching this update on Bram, the Rover 200 BRM. If you want to see what happens with this car or the rest of the cars on my fleet, then please do hit that subscribe button. If you uh, like what you've seen, hit the like, give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. And don't forget to share, share with your friends and do drop a comment down below. If you've had experiences with a similar car and similar problems, then do give me your thoughts. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching Beards and Bangers. I'll see you again very soon on the next episode. Goodbye.